In the barrier ranges just behind us, we've currently installed 40 of the 58 wind turbines. On site, we've currently got two cranes. The first one being the Saron 650 ton crane. It's what we call a narrow track crawler, so it can complete a lift and then move to the next position. You can imagine one of the biggest challenges we've had during construction is the wind conditions. Uh, we're unable to lift when the wind gets above a certain wind speed, typically about 10 metres per second. So in a place that's designed for its natural resource, the wind has been a big challenge. To build a wind turbine, you first put a down tower assembly. Within that contains all the electrical componentry that is the smarts behind a wind turbine. And then there's a five different tower sections that go on top of that. On top of the tower, we have a nacelle. In the nacelle, you have your gearbox and your generator. The GE turbine here has a rotor diameter of 130 metres. And these blades, when they were delivered, were the biggest that were ever delivered in Australia. So 65 metres per blade. So through the blade turning is then driving the gearbox and then into the generator, which is then generating electricity. Uh, it's resulting in 780 gigawatt hours of renewable energy out of the Silverton wind farm, which will be enough to power 137,000 Australian homes.